Good afternoon, booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I think I'll lower this. I thought I'd make a video. It's been, a, I think I made a video on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. It is March the 5th, 2024. It is 1.57 in the afternoon. <laughs> and I'm down on the lower level. Thought I'd make a video because I have 54 <laughs> used books. They're stacking up down here. And I want to put them in order. Or if I have doubles, put them in a box so I can take them to Blue Stockings Bookstore for in-store credit. And I don't think I'll be able to show every single book in this video. So what I'm going to do is that in the corner of this screen, it t tells me the time. And I'm going to quit around 25, 28 minutes. And I'll download that video and then I'll recharge my camera battery. And then I'll do another video maybe later on tonight. But I'll start... From this, they're on my table down here in the lower level. And I'll start from this. I have 54. I'll show you the the four. And uh, this is called Blue Orchard, Unnatural History of America. I had this already in my library and I didn't know it. But he writes about, um, well, it has a little blurb on the front cover by Jim Harrison, who is a writer and a poet. Quote, a first-rate eye-opener to our soul's soul history of uh, germinal material vast and brewing that is always left out of more orthodox, all of them, books about America. Um, I had this, uh, I, this is by Ch Charles Bolden, and if I see any books by him, he's like a journalist, writes about the life on the border of Mexico and... Arizona and Texas and about all those issues. Anyway, it's called Blood Orchard. I had this already. I picked this up. We were at Finville. Uh, I think it was this week. And this is at the Finville Library used book room. And this is by uh, Andrew Vetches. This is Haiku. It's a crime novel. I collect him. And I had this already and I didn't know it. So this will go in my box for, of doubles. And I picked this up at, I think I picked this up at Action House to store a novel, Leaving the Land by Douglas Euler. Euler. And uh, it looked, it had, um, Leaving the land will win, will win prizes or ought to is a loving and tough and honest. It makes your teeth rattle. Outstanding book about who we are, the Boston Globe. Leaving the land is as well the story of a disintegration of a town and its unforgettable inhabitants of the son who was unwilling and inherited of his family's lost dream. All this is distilled with enormous grace, passion, and humor. Economy marks the most impressive debut, debut of a novel. That's by John Irving. So I picked this up. And then this is uh, Louis Ackenkloss. I collect him and I didn't have this one in my collection. The House of Five Talents. Yeah, I've read a lot of Ackenkloss and uh, I like this little edition. This was published... In 1960, a little nice little Ackenkloss. We're going in four minutes, and then I picked up a. I forgot where I got this at. I might have gotten at the Cheap Stacks, the Grand Haven Library used bookstore. Borderlands, A Journey in Thailand and Burma by Charles Nicole. It's a travel memoir. He wrote a book I have on... I think he wrote a book on, on Baudelaire. It was a Baudelaire or Rambeau who 
disappeared in North Africa or South Africa. This is Screamin' Jay Hawkins' All-Time Greatest Hits by Mark Ben Ben Nelly. Uh, this is like a music biography about Screamin' Jay Hawkins. I think he was a uh, he did that song when I was a kid. I'll put a spell on you. It's just a, it's a kind of a music biography on Screamin' Jay Hawkins. I I like music biographies and I remember the song and so I just picked it up. I think it was only 50 cents. Stranger in the Woods, The Extraordinary Life of the Last True Hermit by Michael Finkel. That's a story about that guy they found living on He'd been living 27 years on this property, vacational property, and he was just living there and breaking into people's cabins and living off that, and nobody knew it, and they finally caught him. This is, I have this already in another edition, but I found this at Action House. I can't pronounce the name, but it's a, it's really a six volumes. I have another, I didn't know I had this, but it has a, a different title. But I found, if I see Penguin Classics, I just buy them. And this is the uh, Story of the Stone, Volume 1, The Golden Days. I can't pronounce the name. And this is Volume 2, The Crab and the Flower Club, Story of the Stone. And there's uh, six volumes in the Penguin. I have these in another set that I didn't forgot to bring out. But I like Penguin Classics, so I collect them. I had this already ever since Darwin, Reflections on Natural History by Stephen J. Gould. I collect Stephen J. Gould. I had this and I didn't know it. It's it's like a nature history, nature, uh, like essays. Uh, yeah, I like the way he writes. He's a, I don't agree with him, maybe his view of evolution. I'm not a Darwinist, I'm a creationist, but I collect him. And so this will go in the box of doubles. This is Good Behavior. These are essays. Uh, it's called Good Behavior Being a Study of Certain Types of Civility by Harold Nicholson. It just looked kind of interesting. It's just essays on civility. Uh, so I just picked it up. It was recommended by by V.S. Pitchett, and I collect him. And I don't know, it just looked interesting, so I picked it up. I picked up two novels by Joyce, Joyce Carey, Not Honor More. He is a, a writer that is really kind of off people's radar. He died in 1957, was born in Dung, Dungal, Ireland. He was an Irish writer. Um, I had another novel of his. I had this one in my library already. This is a trilogy. This is volume three of a trilogy, The Horse's Mouth by Joyce Carey. I also found his novel at Action House, Mr. Johnson by Joyce Carey. I collect his writings. I have not read them, but he comes across my radar when I read about uh, literature there in Great Britain. So I, I, I have three of his novels now. and. He wrote a lot of novels. I was surprised how many he wrote, but yeah, he wrote at least 20 novels, but I found those going on nine minutes. Then I picked up this. I picked up at the Finville Warehouse Bookstore. This is a city room. It's a memoir of a man who worked for the uh, the New York Times 
No, I picked this up at Schuler Books. Wait a minute here. I bought this at Schuler Books, but now I see I have the a bookmark from Schuler Books. Yeah, I bought this when we my wife and I went to Grand Rapids. I picked this up Schuler Books used. I collect books on journalism and journalists and newspapers. Uh, author Gibb was hired by the New York Times in 1944 as a night copy boy, the paper's lowest position. When he retired 45 years later, he was a managing editor. Now looking back over those years, so rich an incident and event, he tells the, of his time at the Times with an insider's knowledge and enthusiastic delight. So I picked that up at Schuler's picture of them in the back. I picked this up at the Finville Warehouse used bookstore. A lot, uh, Herland, a lost feminist utopian novel by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, author of The Yellow Wallpaper. Yeah, this is an early feminist literature and uh, so I picked it up. I think I found this at Action House or Salvation Army or Goodwill. This is a blue ticket, a novel by Sophie McIntosh. I picked this up at the Finville Warehouse used bookstore, Jews in the Medieval World of Source Books, 315 to 1791 by Jacob R. Marcus. I like Jewish history. I picked this up at the Finville used, Finville Library used book room, Hot Country, uh, Christopher Marlowe Cobb Thriller by Robert Owen Butler. I collect Owen, Robert Owen Butler's books. I didn't know he wrote a series of crime novels, so I picked this up. I picked this also up at the Finville Public Library used book room. Uh, tell, tell a law, the t life and times of a leading lady by Joel Lothen, Lathenthal. She, uh, this was Talala, I mean, she was like an actress. I don't know. It just looked kind of interesting. It's, it's the life and times. So it's like histories involved in this biography. So that's why I picked it up. I picked this up at Schuler. Schuler Books has a used books. I bought this here. I think there's a bookmark in it. There's a one in here. This is by J. J. Bullard, Miracles of Life, Shangla, Shanghai to Stepanton, an autobiography. I collect the writings of J. G. Bullard. And this is a memoir written by him. I collect memoirs. Behind the Mountain, A Return to Tasmania by Peter Conrad. I don't know where I got this, but I like travel. I picked this up at a thrift store in Grand Rapids at Legacy Thrift Store. And in library thing, it says I have it already, but I can't find my copy of it. So... Also, I, when I catalog this in library thing, I already have it. Time of Gifts by Pat, Pat, Patrick Lee Trimmer. It's a travel memoir. It's really of a trilogy. This is the first of three, and I already have it, but I didn't know it. So that goes in the box of doubles. I collect Aropia. And this was at Schuler Books for a dollar uh, by Sanrine Colette, Nothing But Dust. It's an Europia. Uh, see, it has these. It's an Europia edition. Uh, I collect Europia editions. So, I, 
It says I already have another one by her, but I didn't know it. But nothing but dust. This was translated out of French by Alison Anderson. And I already have this in paperback. This is uh, Passions of the Mind, Selected Essays by A.S. Brandt. I got this also at uh, Schuler Books. See, there's a bookmarker in there. Schuler Books in Grand Rapids. I already had it, but mine was paperback. I think it's somewhere around here. Anyway, I have it already, but I got a hardback and a paperback now. Then I picked up a novel. I don't know where I got this. I think I got this at Finville Warehouse used bookstore, Spaceman of Bohemia uh, by Chekspoff Kalvar. And this was just a novel. It looked interesting. So I picked it up. I picked this up at the Finville pub, uh, Finville Warehouse used bookstore. This is <coughs> a biography of Billy the Kid, A Short and Violent Life by Robert M. Utley. Utley is uh, a famous American Western historian. <coughs> I have a bunch of his books. This is One More Thing, Stories and Other Stories by B.J. Novick. I picked this up at the um, Finville, <coughs> Finville Used Bookstore Warehouse. It's a picture of him. It says he wrote for the show uh, Steinfeld. He was a comedy writer. This is another novel. It looked interesting by Lily Tuck. I have another novel of hers somewhere in my library, but she wrote News from Paraguay, a novel by Lily Tuck. I have this already in my library. This is Essays Sl Slouching Towards Bethlehem by Joan Dion. I got this for the cover. <laughs> Uh, so I bought it. I already have it. I have all her writings. But, um, yeah, this is really a classic. Then I found this at Legacy Thrift Store in Grand Rapids, a biography on Pushkin by Elaine Frenstein. I like biographies. Then I I found this at Legacy Thrift Store in Grand Rapids. This is a bio, autobiography of Anthony Trollope. I have this already in his collected works, but I like the cover and it's a Penguin Classic. As I know, I collect Penguin Classics. I like the cover of it because it has Anthony Trollope on the cover. This is his autobiography and it's the Penguin Classics. I picked this up at uh, Legacy Thrift Store in Grand Rapids. The Divine Sarah, The Life of Sarah Bernhardt by author Gold and Robert Fritzdale. It says they the author of Misma, and I have that in the back room. It's another uh, biography of a woman who was a model for the Impressionistic painters in Paris. But this is about the very famous actress, Sarah Bernhardt. Uh, I collect the, not, the writings of James Salter. This is, I found this at Legacy, Thrift Store in Grand Rapids. All that is, all that is a novel by James Salter. I collect his writings. They're over there in the bookcase. 
He's a very famous American writer. And I didn't have this in my collection. He wrote The Sport and A Pastime. He is a very famous writer. Sport and A Pastime, Solo Faces, Light Years, The Arm of Flesh, The Hunters, Gods of Tin, The Burning of the Days, a collection of stories, Dusk and other stories. So I picked that up from my James Salter collection. I had this already, but I picked this up at, um, I think I got this at the Finville Library. Used book room, Splendid and Vile, The Saga of Churchill Family and the Defiance of Nuring During the Blitz by Eric Larson. I collect the writings of Eric Larson. I had this already in my library, so this will go in the box of doubles. So that's all I'm going to show. I showed you almost 24. No, I showed you more than that. I think I showed you 34 books. So if you got any questions about these books, you know, like I collect books. I like books. I like fiction. I like history. I like autobiographies, biographies. I like books on writing. I like books on natural history, nat nature writing. I like the, I really like the writings of Lewis Ackenkloss and uh, I like reading Earliest Feminist Literature, Herland by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, a lost feminist utopian novel, things like, it's kind of odd things like that. Uh, I really want to read James Salter, uh, All That Is. I've read a lot of Trollope, his not Anthony Trollope. This is autobiography. I really have always enjoyed his writing. So these are the kind of things I, I collect and uh, I'll add to my library. Or if I have doubles, I put them in a box and I'll take them to Blue Stockings for in-store credit. So that's it. So that's some of the books. I can put these away now down here in the lower level, get them in their proper area down here. So like, uh, so, like I said, today is March the 5th. It's a Tuesday. It's 2.19 in the afternoon. So I hope you're all having a good reading week. And, uh, yeah, today it's been raining. We need the rain. Tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. So I'm looking forward to the rain ending and getting back to sunshine. So I'm going to sign off. It's going on 23 minutes. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. And until next time... Bye.